Hello booktube, it's Thea, and this is going to be my TBR for Tis the Season-a-thon. I'm really excited for this readathon. I have been itching to do another readathon since Bookathon, and it's the end of the year, and I'm trying to hit my reading goal, and this just seemed like it was going to be the perfect readathon. It's going to be really fun during around on the holidays, and it's all kind of like holiday wintery themed books. So I'm really excited to dive into these books for this readathon. Um, I will have all the hosts down below as well as the dates and all the challenges. But the dates are running from December 3rd through the 9th, so the first full week in December. There are five challenges and an extra kind of bonus book. Um, I do have a book for each challenge. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them. I did pick kind of short books. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So challenge one is to read a book with red or green on on the cover. I do have two choices here and that is Carols and Chaos by Cindy Ashty and My New Crush Gave to Me by Shani Petroff. I'm not sure which one I'm going to read. I am interested in both. This is kind of a uh, YA kind of um, winter contemporary about Char Charlie who um, has a crush on Tio and she thinks that she wants that's what she wants for Christmas is to be able to be with him and so she kind of puts together this like scheme about of secret Santa to kind of enlist the help of his cousin to get him to notice her and it sounds like it's going to kind of be a um, opposite subtract and she's going to end up falling for his cousin this is just under like this is like 264 pages so it's definitely a quick read and it seems really fast paced and something I could get through during a readathon I also and then Carol's and Chaos is um, kind of more of a historical fiction. It takes place in 1817 England about a main, about our main character Kate Darby who is a ladies maid at Shackleford Park and basically she meets Matt Harrow who um, both of them are very busy. Both of them kind of have opposite lives and they think that falling in love would be a disaster for both of them. But they both kind of get swept up into a counterfeiting scheme that kind of takes, that's going to kind of involve Shackleford Park. And um, I assume, you know, things are going to happen and they're going to fall in love. But this is, I think, my longest book. This is like 315 pages or so. So still not too long, but this seems really interesting. Kind of different. Um versus like just kind of a fluffy contemporary so this seems a little bit different so I am still deciding between these two but this um one of these will meet challenge one. Challenge two is to read a book while listening to holiday music and whichever book I don't choose for challenge one I'm going to use for challenge two. Challenge three is to read a warm and fuzzy book. For this challenge I'm going to pick up What Light by Jay Asher. This has been my TBR for a couple years. Um, it's definitely a holiday kind of Christmassy themed book and I've always wanted to get to it around Christmas time because it just seems like it's the perfect read. Basically it follows our main character Sierra. Her family runs a Christmas tree farm in Oregon and except that every year they pack up and move to California to set up their Christmas tree lot. So Sierra lives two lives, one her life in Oregon and her life in California. And leaving one always means missing the other until this particular Christmas when Sierra meets Caleb and one life eclipses the other. But rep by reputation, Caleb is not your perfect guy. Years ago he made an enormous mistake and has been paying for it ever since. Sierra sees beyond Caleb's past and becomes determined to help him find forgiveness and maybe redemption. But as disapproval, misconceptions, and suspicions swirl around them, Caleb and Sierra can't help but wonder if love really is enough to overcome every obstacle. This just sounds like it's going to be the perfect Christmas read, kind of curled up drinking a hot drink. So I'm really excited to dive into this. Challenge four is to read a short book under 250 pages just so that we can, you know, get those, uh, get that reading, good read, reading goal before the end of the year. And so for this, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Kiss Me in New York by Katherine Ryder. This is actually much shorter than I thought it was. It's like 184 pages and the font is huge. Huge. So this is definitely probably something I can get to in one sitting. Basically, this follows our main character, um, Charlotte, who gets stuck during a blizzard on Christmas Eve in the airport. She's heading home to England after a horrible breakup ended the worst semester of her life. 
and she meets Anthony who gets dumped in the middle of JFK by the girlfriend he came to surprise. On the spur of the moment, the two set out into the city together with a self-help book to guide them. Get over your ex in 10 easy steps. This romantic adventure is for anyone who sees the possibilities in a swirl of snowflakes at the top of the Empire State Building and anyone who's ever wondered if true love was waiting just at the under end of a ticket counter. This has everything that I love. Wintertime, New York City, two people falling in love. That that was all I needed, and it's super short, so this is definitely something that will be perfect for the readathon. And challenge five is to read a holiday themed book. And so for this challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick up a boy called Christmas by Matt Haig or Matt Haig. Um, basically, this follows Saint Nick, Chris Kringle, Santa Claus as a little boy. Um, and it's a children's book. It's like just over 200 pages. I think it's like 215 pages. So it's definitely something that would be the perfect kind of holiday Christmassy read for the readathon as well just for the season. It'll be really quick, quick. It'll be a really quick kind of fast paced read and it does have illustrations all throughout. Basically it says long ago, back before anyone had ever heard of Santa or Rudolph or socks full of presents, there was a young boy named Nicholas who believed in the impossible. This is the story. This is that's that's it I mean that's that's all I needed to know um and it's kind of the perfect holiday read um I know April from Aprilis Maximus loves Matt Haig so I'm really excited to um give him a read and try him out but this was something that just was looked really adorable and so I picked it up from the library as well and the uh, bonus challenge is the buddy read, which is Snow in Love by Melissa De La Cruz and a couple other people. It's four holiday stories. Um, I'm not going to be reading it just because my library didn't have a copy of it and I'm on a book buying ban, so therefore I am not buying it. But that is going to be the buddy read, so I know a few other people are reading it as well. If you are interested um, in reading that, and so I wanted to include this for you guys just so you, in case you are interested in reading it as well. So here are the five books that I would like to get to for Tis the season a -thon. Are you guys participating? If you are, what are you reading? If you've read any of these, I'd love any thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Um, what are some books that you guys like to read during the holidays? What are some ho what are your favorite holiday reads? Um, as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Um, happy reading, happy holidays, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.